Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today, I have another mail day for you guys, but before I show you what I've been buying, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. That way I can get you notified whenever I release a new soccer or soccer card video. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. All right, guys, this is the mail deal for today. It's a bit much, a little bit bigger packages as well. Let me uh, take them away first. Let's start off with the smaller ones. So. First one. It's a postcard. No, it isn't. All right. So uh, this is an interesting st story, as I think all of my cards have an interesting story. So here you see Otto Toll Harder. He was a German soccer player that played for Braunschweig, Hamburg and Victoria Hamburg um, during 1909 and 1934. He was also he also played for the German national team from 1914 until 1926. Uh, in total, he won two German championships and he was a prolific goal scorer. Now, they even made a movie about him in the 1920s called Der König der Mittelsturmer, translated King of the Center Forwards. Um, they even named a brand of cigarettes after him, so he was a pretty huge name. Now. He also has a bit of a less glamorous side because uh, he was German, so he fought um, in the war. Now, Otto Harder joined the SS and he later became a guard at a concentration camp. So he was found guilty later on after the war for war crimes and was sent 15 years to prison. His sentence was reduced to 10 years and he was actually released after four and a half. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is definitely a card with history. Um, it's not for everyone, I understand that, but it's a part of life and it's a part of history. And he was a, a very, he was a prolific goal scorer. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to um, add this one to the collection. Next up, let's see. Oh, right, so. I think this is the worst time picture ever because if, if you, you can see like the ball is in front of the face <laughs> uh, but this is a Puskas so this is a 1954 Cosmos Puskas card this is the back so in 1954 Germany became world champions after beating Hungary 3-2 in the final um, and this is the album that is released by Cosmos that year. So Cosmos is a Panini alternative, I would call it. The album has 100 black and white images and it basically tells a story from the World Cup. So every page is a new stage in the tournament and according to what happened, there are different images. So if one team won in the first round and went all the way through the final, you're going to have a lot more and more of these cards in the album along the way. So it's pretty cool and interesting. I think, I think it's also a pretty interesting concept. Uh, so the main guy on this card is obviously Puskas. He was an Hungarian international and he was an absolute beast. I mean, he played for Bu um, Budapest before going to Real Madrid. Uh, but I think most people know him from his time at Real Madrid. Uh, so Puskas was a forward and one of the best ever, I would say. He scored like 360 goals in 350 games for Budapest and like 160 goals in 180 games for Real Madrid. I think he scored as many goals as he played games for Hungary as well. So, I mean, I think he had like one goal per game in over 600 games, which is which is just insane. So I'm really excited about this um, because it's a Puskas. I actually have two, so there is two in here, I guess. I hope um, I bought two, so... Yes, <laughs> so... Uh, it's a 1954 Puskas, so I think that's a, a very good pickup. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with those as well. Moving up the ladder. <laughs> All right, next up. Oh yeah, here we have. I opened this one because I was so excited about this one. Um, it's a 1971 Johan Graf Vanderhout. So. For those who don't know Johan Graf, it's hard to believe that someone doesn't know him. But for those who don't, 
He's actually one of the best players in history of the sport. Depending on who you ask, people would put him either in the top three or top five best players ever. Um, he started at Ajax being discovered in a local playground. Um, it's also of the time of the picture he played in for Ajax until 1973, I believe. So this is 1971. Um, he also played for Barcelona, but he scored like 415 goals in 500-ish games, which is absolutely insane as well. He also had a big impact on the game of soccer in general, with his play style, his skill move that people still call the Johan Kraft turn, and also just his soccer philosophy. He, he, he really changed the game in so many ways. Um, now, I think Johan Krafts are still very affordable for how big of a player he was. Um, I don't think it's gonna last long until people realize that there are other players besides Ronaldo, um, Maradona and Pele. It's like in the beginning with the modern cards, people only went for um, Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappé and Neymar. And later on they realized there were so many more players. Um, I think that's the exact same thing happening in Vintage as well. People are chasing Maradona and Pele while we have a player like Kraft that's just... I mean, he was an insane good player. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about my first graph. Condition is awesome. Um, so, yeah, happy with this one as well, obviously. Um, so, let me see what this is. Oh, hey, guys. So, for those who are into tickets, so... Let me go from the let me go to the beginning. So this is an actual game ticket from the game between Manchester City and Manchester United, played on the 20th of March 2016. It's here. Um, so Steve from the Football Stop, if you haven't already checked out his channel, I could really recommend doing so after this video, of course. He had a guest on that was really into game tickets, and it was a great interview. But it also made a lot of sense to me. Um, right now we're buying into sets that most of the time means nothing for a player like the 2014 Prism Ronaldo It's a 12 tier card. R Portugal didn't even make it out of the group stages uh, And Ronaldo's, Ronaldo scored one goal and we are paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for it now What if you can buy a, a game ticket an actual game ticket of his game where he scored like three goals in the Champions League semi-finals for like $50 I think that would make sense. I think game tickets could really become a thing. I mean, they already are, but it could become a, a bigger thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to hype it. It's just my observation. Now, of course, this is more of an alternative investment, and it might not go up in value at all. That's not the point why I bought this one, uh, or why I'm buying uh, game tickets. Now, I think that actual paper tickets like this are going to become much scarcer with all the online and digital tickets. And also game tickets are just limited by nature. There are all, only so many people that get, go to a game. Um, and most of the time people just throw these away after the game. Especially if your team lost. Like you don't not, you're not going to hold on to a ticket where your team lost. Especially not in a derby like in Manchester Derby. So I think especially in good condition these could become uh, scarcer. Now going back to this game. On the 20th of March 2016 Manchester City hosted Man United. Uh, and Man United won this game 1-0 with a goal from Marcus Rashford that by doing so became the youngest goal scorer in history of the Manchester Derby. So again you have a lot of history in the tickets and it's from a Marcus Rashford. Like if you don't want to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a Marcus Rashford card, why don't you spend like, I don't know how much I paid for it, like 10 bucks? Like $10 for an actual game ticket where he became the youngest goal scorer in the Manchester Derby. Like, I think I think that says something. So, um, I think this opens up a an whole new level of collecting as well. Because you're not reliant on 2014, 2016. You just pick a game that means something to you. You buy the ticket and you actually have a memory of that actual game. So, it makes sense to me. Of course, you don't have to buy any game tickets if you're like dude what the <laughs> fuck you run about um so yeah um i got more coming off of tickets as well so be on the lookout for that now moving on i have received a package from content a fellow content creator mark from football fc 
you might recognize him from the videos with the big insane uh, wall on the back in his background so football cards on in youtube also a personal personalized note dear vincent hope these arrive safely to you all the best mark super friendly guy really appreciate look at the look at it man put so much effort into into it um now i actually haven't opened this so i hope i can do that pretty quickly let me i'll come back to you when i actually have opened these so he actually sent me 1970 world cup uh, cards from belgium players because obviously i'm from belgium uh, these are from the 1970 world cup uh, in mexico it's where brazil won their third world cup with pele as player of the tournament i've actually i've, I've already made a video about the 1970 world cup i will link it somewhere on the screen make it appear or whatever in the corner um, uh, Belgium actually didn't make it out of the group stages in the 1970s World Cup. I think they finished third with the Soviet Union, uh, Mexico and El Salvador. Now, most of you guys will probably not know these players. Um, there are some big names in here, to be honest. So one of them is Paul Van Imst. The other one... Um, let me see... So we have Paul Van Nimst, who was a big player we might have heard of. Pierre Hanot, Johan de Vriend. Yeah, I think I think um, Paul Van Nimst is going to be um, the most recognizable one. He almost played his entire career for Anderlecht, which is a, a, a tier one club in Belgium. He scored almost 250 goals in, in 600 games or something, and he also uh, scored like 30 goals in 80 games for Belgium so he was a he was a very good player uh, now obviously these are for uh, the personal collection um, not for um, selling purposes so much thanks many thanks I'm not sure how to say it a lot of thanks to Mark um, for sending me these. now next up is going to be a, a rather big package it's the it's the big one here um, this is actually a book so I am buying a lot of vintage so I want to read up on the history of certain players competitions leagues so this book is about Bella Gutman um, so let me read what it says on the back to give you more context so before Pep Guardiola and before Mourinho, there was Bela Gutman, the first superstar football coach. So he is a Holocaust survivor. Um, he um, hides in a attic near Budapest as thousands of fellow Jews in the neighborhood were dragged off to be murdered. He later escaped from a slave labor camp. Uh, his parents, his sister um, were murdered. And he actually became a um, very successful coach for Benfica. He even won the European Cup. So going from being in the labor camp to becoming an European Cup winner. Very interesting. So I'm happy to have this one to read. Um, I got two more books that were just delivered before recording. I'm um, just going to quickly open them off camera. The first one is... You obviously heard about him, Puskas, uh, one of the best players ever. This is about his journey, his story. Um, so yeah, Puskas. And the other one is about Steve Bloomer. Bloomer was an English football player that played from 1911 um, or something or 1800. I don't know. I, he, he played in... Um, in the early 1900s and he was also a prolific goal scorer i think he scored like 350 goals in 600 games and almost 30 goals in 20 games for england something like that um so again a lot more learning material um i would highly recommend reading books if you want to learn more about the history about the leagues uh, maybe find hidden names um maybe like it's 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 just the circumstances were different so 
I think if you can read up on on these players and these and these names, that you can actually find undervalued cards and stickers of great players that not many people talk about or know. So that's why I'm also reading books. Um, so yeah, that was it, guys. Thanks for watching, and then uh, I hope you guys make some good buys as well. And I'll see you in the next one. So there you have it, my purchases of the last week. Now, my question for you guys today, what are the last three things you bought? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way I can get you notified whenever I release a new soccer or soccer cards video. So this was me for today. Once again, thanks for watching and as always, stay healthy, stay safe and remember, it's always time to collect. <laughs>